Yeah, hi guys. We're live here in the center of Guilford uh, at the peak of this storm. Well, we don't know if it's the peak. It was earlier today. There are about 600 customers here in Guilford who were without power. I just checked the uh, Eversource outage map. That's down to about 200, so crews are making progress. And it's a good thing that they are as we're expecting uh, the winds to start to pick up. We're seeing that just a little bit uh, right now. A couple of gusts uh, came through. Uh, here in the center of Guilford, the businesses were able to keep the lights on, however. Uh, they were not seeing a lot of foot traffic. Guilford Town Center Tuesday. This large tree limb took out some Halloween displays on the normally bustling town green. I usually walking around the green here, uh, but today, you know, I'm kind of just sitting in the car, not doing too much walking around, but uh, just kind of killing time. Businesses were able to keep the lights on, but didn't get much foot traffic, while drivers dealt with some minor street flooding from clogged storm drains. Um, I took a couple of my Halloween decorations down that I knew would blow away, but um, no, probably not as much. I actually did clean my gutters out this weekend. Residents weren't the only ones who were prepared for Tuesday's nor'easter. Our teams have been monitoring you know, this nor'easter for several days now. We kept in touch with both United Illuminating and Eversource as their crews crisscrossed the state, working to restore power as quickly as possible. You know, more than 90% of the outages we're looking at are uh, trees or limbs being brought down by the heavy winds that we're seeing. Winds that could make it unsafe for crews to keep working. We'll have to watch how high the wind gusts are because it, the trucks really can't go in the air above 30 mile an hour sustained winds. On Clapboard Hill Road in Guilford, the bucket trucks were extended for a tree limb that came down on some wires there. All over in Killingworth, the DPW was busy keeping culverts clear so water could pass under the road near Saltpeter Brook. Meanwhile, in Madison, they cleaned up from a morning mess after a transformer explosion. Actually, between about 9 and 9.30, we had a, a rash of wires down, power outages, trees down uh, really quickly for about a half hour. And both Eversource and United Illuminating told me that they prioritize outage restoration uh, based on critical infrastructure first. So getting back online, the hospitals and the nursing homes, fire and police departments. Then they go to the population centers, uh, getting the most people back online first. And they branch out into those rural communities all the way down to individual residential outages. Uh, the utility companies telling me that they hope to have every one of their customers back on the grid by Thursday at the latest. We're live here in Guilford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.